Hello everybody, in this short video I'm going to show you how we can go online with a remote PLC through internet. This experiment has been specifically designed for Allen Bradley PLCs that have Ethernet port. Let's first state the problem. Assume that there is a PLC running a program in a remote field. The programmer is miles away sitting in his or her office and requiring to go online with the PLC to edit the program. To do so, we first ask someone in the plant to connect their computer to the PLC by means of an Ethernet cable. It is assumed that this computer has access to Internet. As a prerequisite, the PLC must have a configured static IP address, a subnet mask, and a default gateway address, which are normally done and known. As an example, please notice the Ethernet port configuration of the PLC in this slide. Next, the IP address of the plant computer has to be set equal to the gateway address already assigned to the PLC. Now we establish a VPN connection between two computers. In this way, we can virtually put the office computer in a same network with a plant computer. Among many software available for VPN connection, in this experiment I have chosen TeamViewer which is really easy and convenient to use. As soon as the VPN connection begins, TeamViewer assigns two IP addresses to the computers on the virtual network. Please notice that the plant PC now has two IP addresses, one regarding to its physical connection to the PLC and one pertaining to the established virtual connection. It's time to inform the office PC about the existence of remote PLC, which is physically connected to its partner. In order to do so, we need to first enable IP routing, second, add the IP of the PLC to the routing table of the office computer. Finally, we run the programming software, i.e. RS links and RS logics to go online with the PLC. Please note that the advantage of this method is that we don't need to connect to a local network in the plant.